Hey YouTube, it's Curtis with Olympus Reptiles and today is the video that we're going to kind of show you what I do on the side of, you know, editing, videoing, and just trying to make Matt look good. So the first thing is we're going to go over is your camera equipment. Um, a lot of people will use something kind of like this, like a cell phone, and it's not that bad, but the cell phone, it's hard to get it to zoom in and out, and it just doesn't have the kind of quality that you, you can do with like a better camera. Um, the kind of camera we use, this is a mirrorless camera, which is a lot like a DSLR, but just, you know, a little bit different stuff on there. Um, this is a Samsung NX1. Um, it records, it can actually record 4K, but we just usually do the uh, uh, 1080p. Um, one thing that I kind of stress is I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and in the YouTube video, if I can't hear what's going on or there's a lot of background noise, it just it just kind of bothers me and I, I'm not really interested in what they're kind of talking about. So having some kind of like a microphone or like a wireless mic is really good. This is called a shotgun mic and it just picked up, you know, really good quality. Whatever it's pointing at, it's going to pick up what's in front of it and not so much around from the side or the back. Um, other thing is lighting. You want to have like really good lighting. If you're watching a video and it's really hard to see what's going on, you, you know, you're not going to be really paying attention. And, you know, I'm not the best at lighting, you know, you can go on to YouTube and watch, you know, a whole bunch of videos on lighting and different things. But what I do is just try to make it bright enough to where the camera can pick up stuff good. You know, especially when you're working with snakes, is you want to have the good colors that the snakes come out. You don't want to show a snake and, like, there's really bright yellows and reds and oranges in it and it just kind of muddies out because you don't have the good lighting. Um... So, you know, having really good audio, really good um, lighting is the two key things when I, you know, watch videos that I kind of look at. And um, the other thing is like editing. That's where, you know, I kind of, you know, do a lot of stuff that Matt doesn't do. And the one main thing I use is just the Windows Movie Maker, just the free editing software that comes on your computer. You know, that's something if you want to start out and you don't have a lot of money and you're just getting started, just use the free audio or the free editing software that's on your computer. If you're using Apple, it's iMovie on there. You know, it's really good, easy to use. I've actually kind of upgraded and we use this CyberLynx Power Director and it lets you do a lot more stuff. You can, you know, like cut in like more um, videos and sound and there's just a lot more things you can do with that. And, you know, it takes more time to do that too. If I'm going to do like a simple video, I still use you know, the movie, um, the, the free one on here, the movie maker. Um, when you're doing your editing, one thing you want to do is when you're recording and you're done, make sure that you do not lose your, your uh, video card because, you know, you spend that time doing it, get all ready, and then if you lose it or you lose, you know, the, the video you just recorded, you know, that's just, it's just really frustrating. So just try to be really organized. And what I do is I have everything. I have a, like a Olympus Reptile file. And so we'll bring that up. And basically in the file I have like different things. But the main thing is new videos. So as soon as I, as soon as we record a video, what I do is I, I take it off, uh, put, put the memory card in here, and then I put it under new videos. And so then when I'm going through, like a lot of times I'll just uh, um, edit it or upload it on there. I just leave it set, and then when I have time, I'll come back and I'll edit it. Well, I know that the new videos I'm going to be editing to put on YouTube is going to be under here. So then, you know, and then I have them kind of set up as different things. Like, these are just, like, ones we put up there. I have, you know, right now, how to do YouTube. That's when I get done with this video, I'm going to put it up in there, and then when I get ready, I'm going to edit it. You know, one thing is we did the Denver show. Um, you know, stuff like that is how I just kind of just kind of keep it organized. It makes it a lot simple if you're organized when you're doing your video editing. You know, you, you, losing video is really, really frustrating and you don't want to have to go back and re, you know, shoot something. Um, the next thing is, you, you know, once you get your, your video all edited and you can just kind of look on YouTube, you know, the best ways to edit it just kind of fill, find your own niche we do stuff really really simple we don't want to have a lot of production basically what you see on our youtube videos is basically what we do i don't you know try to do a lot of after you know post um, editing stuff it, it just takes up way too much time and you know we just want to be really real with it and not you know try to add some fake stuff in there so then what you're going to do is you're going to take the video and then you're going to go 
um, to your YouTube channel and you're just going to upload it onto your YouTube channel. And the main thing like when you upload a video is you want to really work on doing your tags. Like what's in the video, like if you're doing snakes, you want to put snakes in there. If you're doing ball pythons, put ball pythons, you know, whatever you're doing, the specific, you know, gene that's in the video. If you're working with Exantic stuff, you're going to put Exantic in there, SK Exantic. The more tags you put in there, tags is what people use to find your videos. When they type into YouTube, whatever they type in there, it links it to your video and you know, your video not might, might not be the top one in the search engine, but it's going to be on there if you tag it right. So we always put like Olympus Reptiles. So anytime anyone searches Olympus Reptiles, it's tagged in our thing, so it's going to come up. You know, if we're working with, say, carpet pythons or different things like that, just make sure you tag it in your video. And then also what you do is once you get your video uploaded onto YouTube, is you want to do the end screen stuff and basically that's like in the last 20 seconds of your video you'll see on our videos it pops up and it says you know there's a link on there to subscribe so people can click right on that link after the video is you know almost done and it'll be basically subscribe to it there's another link that you know pops up with another one of our videos so if you watched the video you liked it and you want to see more all you can do is just you know, click that link and it starts up another video the next thing is you know if you do other things we do patreon so we have a little patreon icon that comes up there and people can click on that and it goes straight to our patreon page where they can help support us and just kind of you know further <clears throat> some of the stuff we're doing um one thing too is that we really like to have a cameraman there working with you you know it's it's you can do videos where you just have like a tripod setting up and you sit there in front of and talking in front of the camera but it works really well if you have a cameraman there to kind of help you out. Um, it, it, just, it just seems like it works a lot better. But the one thing I really, really lucked out with was having Matt being, you know, as good as he is in front of the camera. Because I've videoed a lot of people. I used to do hunting TV shows, a lot of stuff. And finding someone that's just naturally good on camera is really, really good. I got really lucky, lucky with Matt. I'm not the best in front of the camera, but I know how to do it. And one thing that if you're kind of starting out, you know, if you go back and look at our first videos, it's, it's kind of rough and, you know, it does take some time for you to get comfortable in front of the camera. One thing that you can do that I've seen that's really, really helpful is just do like a daily video diary. And this is something that you don't even have to show anyone. You just view it yourself. Just get in front of the camera, turn it on, and just talk about your day. And then when it's over with, you know, go back and watch it and just see how you're doing it. If you get a lot of ums and ands and, you know, there's not, you know, it just doesn't flow very well. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. And then the last thing is with YouTube, the, I think the number one thing is just being really consistent. If you're going to start a YouTube channel and your goal is to do a video every single week, make sure you do a video every single week. There's so many channels out there that just isn't consistent. And... I think that just kills it because once you get a following, once you get people on there that really like you, they get excited when it comes up to be like, we do videos on Thursday and on Sunday. People get excited and, you know, they, they, they anticipate a video coming out on Sunday. They anticipate a video coming out on Thursday. And if you don't do that, they're going to not, they're not going to start following you and they're going to unsubscribe. So just being consistent, I think, is the number one thing that we found on YouTube that just has really, really helped us out. So that's just kind of, you know, what I do behind the this, this screen. I kind of went through it kind of fast. But if you guys have any questions or you guys need any help with anything, you know, just kind of leave a comment. And then make sure, like, do this in your videos, too, is make sure you tell, you know, your audience to like your videos, you know, you know, comment on your videos and subscribe. You know, those three things really help you know, push up your video and get, you know, YouTube to kind of promote your video too. So, uh, Matt, do you have any questions? Yeah, how long would you say it takes for you to edit, like, a regular video? Something we shot, that's a simple one, without any of the extra stuff, like, you know, the stop motion, anything like that that you do. About how long do you have to spend to do that? Um, when I do it, the, the thing that takes the longest is, like, rendering a video. When you put the video onto your editing software it takes a little bit for it to render me before you can start editing it and then so I go on there and I kind of you know just clip out the beginning of it where I say okay Matt we're ready and then he starts a video I clip out you know I cut out the beginning of it 
cut out the end of it. You know, if there's anything in the middle, I have to kind of change or anything, I do that. So it doesn't take me very long to do that. Maybe, you know, 20 minutes or so, just probably less than that. And then once you get done, you have to save the video. So it takes time to go to save it. And then once you get done with that, then you go upload the video to YouTube. And depending on your internet speed, you know, it could take a long time or a shorter time. But depending on how long the video is, it can take a longer time to upload it to the internet. And then once it gets done, you know, adding your final stuff to the video once it's on YouTube, you know, it could probably take me a little over an hour or so. On longer videos, I have to do more editing. I've spent four hours on a video because sometimes I put a video together and when it's saving, it crashes. So I have to go and kind of redo it. It just gets kind of frustrating. But, you know, if you just do a simple video, you know, simple editing, probably an hour or less is what it's gonna, how long it's going to really take. Very right, cool. Well, I don't have any more questions. The only thing I'd add is I do appreciate the uh, great front of the camera comments. I don't know how well that's deserved. But even though when you guys watch your videos, you see a lot more of me because I tend to be the one in front, the engine that really drives the machine it is the guy you're looking at now. I mean, when we film a video, we usually do it in one take, I'd say 80% of the time. And so if it's an eight minute video, I put in like maybe nine minutes of work total, and this guy goes and puts in another hour of work after that. So the real grunt work behind what we do is a gentleman talking or looking at the camera now. So thank you a lot for making us go. That's all I've got. So yeah, just, you know, if you like this video, just, you know, leave a comment, you know, let us know you like. If you have any questions, just let us know. We'll be, we'll be happy to kind of answer it. And uh, just thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.